Hello there guys, welcome to this brand new series playing as Real Madrid. I decided to go with something different after my Blackpool gameplay. Um, I was playing a lot of it and I wanted to sort of mix it up with a different ambition of a club. Obviously Real Madrid's ambitions are just clear to everyone that Champions League and La Liga is their priority. I uh, brought a few transfers in. I'm not going to talk about them because you know the very basics that I've done here. And the, the biggest one is obviously Patrick Vieira for £36 million. Uh, Outgoings as well. We've got released of a few on the free because they basically had to go to make up for some space. Got We've made, basically made 15.25 million. We also have some f possible future transfers coming in here um, where Claude Makaleli could possibly be going to Arsenal for 11.25. Um, the other big one which is definitely set is Figo to Mallorca. Now the reason why I've done that is because I know that halfway into this game he decides to basically have a hissy fit and go so I thought may as well just get it done and get it out of the way now um, I'm quite happy with some of these that I managed to get rid of but I'm also going for some of these Scandinavian t um, players that you know have been recommended to me because uh, a lot of you seem to say just get the scouts there to Scandinavia and let's see how it goes I have played the first couple of games in the Super Cup we won that on away goals wasn't too um, too great but we did it so it's, you know, it's still a good thing we start off with Las Palmas now our Champions League uh, group is Nantes, Lazio and Ajax it's quite a tricky group to be honest with you for the beginning we're going to definitely have to win those home games decided to go for this formation this is the team that I'm going to play I am playing Figo even though he's been sold in December I still think he's the best player for that position at this time um, I'm sure someone else will come in at that point Duff, West, Hierro, Captain Hierro, Roberto Carlos, Vieira in that defensive midfield role. He's sorted for the basically the whole game that I'm going to play here. Um, Zidane, obviously, in the centre. Solari on the left. I'm a big fan of Solari. I really like him. Um, and it's quite strong, that position, because you've also got uh, Mutis as well, who's, you know, acceleration 20, flare 20, pace 18. It's quite a strong position, that, to have. Um, strikers as well. Uh, Raul and Morientes and we've also got Maxime on the bench I'm not going to bring him on just yet especially for an away game I want to kind of see how this thing plans out so we'll, we'll get into it now we'll just auto this oh for EU so I've got to not have an EU member oh that see that this brings me to a tricky point now I'm thinking when Helguera comes back anyway that Taribo is going to come out so I am going to take Taribo out at this point um, because I think I want the possibility of Maxime on the bench in case things don't go too well but we'll, we'll see how it goes um like I say I'm fairly optimistic I always seem to tend to start off quite bad uh, in these games there you go it's 1-0 already I don't always get too worried about that because I know that my starts aren't the best in this game and then as the season progresses we sort of get into a rhythm of things and we start off quite well so let's see how it goes hopefully we can get a goal back just before half time and start to put the pressure on them but I, you know, I don't know. This this is a game we should be winning. If we if we were mid season, we'd be winning this game at this point, which is the most annoying thing. See, Raúl's playing at a five at the minute. I don't know if to bring Maxime on and just completely pummel the the strike force with this and just go for it. Oh my God, we're getting battered here. This this formation just does not seem to be working for us at the moment. Um, in fact, this is one hell of a heavy defeat. Let me try and let me try and go for this. We may as well make changes now. Uh, let's get Maxim on. Um, I'm probably going to take Solari off. He hasn't done too well. And we'll just shove these guys in here. We'll see if that does anything to it. It might be a case that I decide to play with three up front. A lot of people say that two two strikers don't work. It's either one or three that seems to be the best thing to do. I'm going to put McManaman, you know, at the back. Let's just see how he goes there. Go. For, may as well just go aggressive. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get enough in time here, which is a bit of a disappointing start, to be honest with you. That wasn't really what we wanted, because they're not, they haven't really done that well. That's their first win of the season as well, which is annoying. We've been battered there, actually. That's a terrible start. I'm going to continue this game until I reassure myself that actually everything is going to be okay, because that's going to drive me insane. Um, Champions League, we're playing a good team. I don't give a shit about how many people are tired. Makaleli is going... Uh, which is fine, not that we need the money, but, you know, it's sort of giving something back to Arsenal because they did give us Patrick Vieira, which is completely fine. Um, but I, we do need to strengthen up. You can see all these people here I'm going for, so there'll definitely be players incoming that will affect our type of game. Yeah, only one. I tried that, the, the youth setup. Quite annoying. 
Right, he's been accepted. Put him in the rotation. Get him in. Get him accepted. I want this guy. He's only 16. Good for the future, though. <clears throat> and he costs absolutely nothing. Which is very, very handy. Cole. I'm not kind of expecting to get Cole, to be honest with you. He wants to move clubs, which is pretty good. <clears throat> I'll try 12.5. We'll just try and annoy them, really, here. We'll put Salgado in. Um... Yeah, I might actually... Zidane's tired. I might just go for this, you know. Let's just see how this this goes here. I'm desperate to, to do well with this. I think we've got to really push on now because that, that first defeat was quite demoralising. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Because those are the types of game you've got to be winning if you win in the um, if you win in La Liga, definitely. God, we're still nil nil here. This is madness. Just doesn't seem to be able to to get where we need to go. They bought Ambrosini. He's quite a good player. Um, that's my dog making the noises, by the way. Fuck me, we need a goal here. There we go. Raul's got it. It's quite a slow start. I'm thinking three. Yeah, I'm thinking, depending on the teams that we play, three up front for home games and one up front for away games. That's what I'm thinking. So I could. Tactics. Yeah. We need to seriously have a look at that. I mean, the next game is, is crucial now in terms of the, the actual league itself. But Pamaski, yeah, got Pamaski, obviously. That's Hibbs that he's given to me. All right, yeah. All these guys are just coming in. English search, Stefan Henshaw, God. Bramble. He was quite good on this game, wasn't he, Bramble? Shame he turned out the way he did. Corinthians, Rodrigo, yep. <clears throat> he has actually been put on the transfer list. That's fine by me. Um, okay. Gradually getting there. I think we need to think of a replacement for Figo as well. Can be so he's another one going. Yep, accept him. We're basically just having to clear out all these players that I've got on my transfer list at the moment I want to bring in. I think they're going to be... No, I've been offered more, so what's the point of that? Barcelona got beat. There you go. So that's not too bad. I mean, look at this, though. I know we've only played one game, but <clears throat> we should be better than this. Oh, Dortmund. Do you know what? Oh, they've offered full... Yeah, do you know what? Just give it some. There we go. Good old Kennedy. Get him in. He'll want to come to it. Hey, here we go. Another young lad. Yeah, this guy. I like this guy. Very good. And the right Duff is still out. Um, I do want to bring Zidane back in. Who did I have? Was it Solari? Yeah, let me shove Figo on the bench. My thinking there is because I actually then have another striker in case I need to. Oh, God, who have I got on now? Oh, Jeremy. I put Jeremy on the bench, didn't I? Um, yeah. God, that's annoying, isn't it? Let me, let me wriggle into the B team. In fact... Bring this guy back up. He's supposed to be really good anyway. Okay. I want to win. We, we need to make up for what has just happened in that last Parmas game. I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, thank God for that. I was panicking and thinking, is this going to be a game just of complete rubbishness? If that's even a word. There we go. 2-0. Morientes. I think it just takes a bit of time to get used to things, and then we're back on the road again. That'll bring us up, yeah. I need to check where my next game is actually after this. I think we've got, to be fair, when you look at the strikers, there's so much power there. There we go, Maxime. Wonderful. Right. 
the next game is Champions League. Oh, yeah, three days. I'm going to have to think about resting a few players for this. Solari. I'm going to give Guti a go. Morientes is tired. Let's give Figo a go up front, you know. I think I will. I think it's always nice to give him a chance, even though even though we know he's going. Let's try him in this position rather than the midfield attacking position. Okay, last sub. Who's tired here? 84, Zidane. Yep, let's get Zidane off. But Manaman can come on. That is the good thing. This is a very strong squad. You know, Manaman is actually quite good on this game. It's looking good this to be fair okay there we go 3-0 win so even though it started quite bad you know we've made good progress in the last two games the home games anyway i'm gonna have to think about changing the formation for this lazio game so yeah anyway guys please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys for the next episode of this real madrid gameplay